On the 1st of August 2014, the scientific world in the world of sport and long-distance swimming witnessed a new Russian swimmers together with a well-known South African charity organization named Metswimmer performed a unique crossing from the Little Diomede Island, Yosei, to the Ritmanova Island, Russia. The swim took place in the waters of the Bering Strait on the confluence of two oceans, the Pacific and the Arctic. Due to some current drift, the distance of the swim was 5,600 meters. Water temperature fluctuated from 3 to 6 degrees above zero. The sea was calm, with low waves rippling on the surface. The swim started at 4.40 p.m. Chakotka time in the Pacific Ocean, about 1,200 meters to the south of the Ainalak village, Little Diamond. The main purpose of the swim was fundraising to help sick children in South African Republic and Russia. The other purpose was to attract scientists and physicians' attention to studies of the capabilities of a human body subject to low temperatures. It turned out that a trained person has the ability of self-recovery from hypothermia in Arctic conditions. Later, the participants demonstrated it. Датчик номер один Александр Брейн для измерения внутренней температуры в условиях Бенингового пролива. The swimmers believe that the swim can help to develop a method of recovering people who have undergone a long stay in cold water. The Russian swimmers dedicated the Arctic charity long-distance swim to the Year of Culture in Russia and the Year of Arctic in the Republic of Sakha, Yakutia. Nothing of the kind has been performed for nearly 30 years. Only on the 9th of August in 1987, an American woman, Lynn Cox, was able to conquer the strait between the Diomede Islands. And now, three fearless Russian swimmers did it, too. So, here are the participants from Russia. Alexander Brilin, an extreme cold water swimmer, Russian coordinator of the swim, head of the Amur Department of Polar Explorers Association, chairman of the Aquais Sport Federation in the Amur region, IWSA ambassador in Russia, a Russian and Europe record holder in the nomination Intercontinental Swimming Relay, Chukotka, Alaska, 2013, Magister student of the Far Eastern State Academy of Physical Education and a member of All Russia Physical Training and Sport Society, Dynamo. Grigory Prokopchuk, an extreme cold water swimmer, a representative of the Yakutian Department of the Polar Explorers Association, the third place prize winner of the World Winter Swimming Championship 2014 in Rovayami, Finland, a Russia and Europe record holder in the nomination Intercontinental Swimming Relay, Chukotka, Alaska, 2013. Viktor Godlevsky, the team's lifeguarding coach, head of Kamchatka Center of Long Distance Winter Swimming, head of Kamchatka Regional Voluntary Physical Training and Sports Society, Sport for Everyone, a Russia and Europe record holder in the nomination Intercontinental Swimming Relay, Chukotka, Alaska, 2013. How they had the swimmers arrived to the USA when they started to get ready for the swim? In spite of extremely changeable weather, there was a thick fog and very strong wind, heavy rain and storm the day before the swim. The team decided to make preparations on the place of the start. They examined the area and studied the speed and the direction of the currents. The first in the 21st century swim started the next day. At 6.30 p.m. American time, a boat with the swimmers went to the starting point. It took them two hours to get there. When the boat was 50 70 meters from the shore, Alexander and Grigory dived into the water and swam to the coast so that they could start from the land. Water temperature was 6 degrees above zero. So, on the 1st of August 2014, at 4.40 p.m. Chukotka time or 8.40 a.m. Moscow time, the event started. At Viktor Godlevsky's command, the swimmers went into the water from the rocky U.S. coast. First half of the distance, the swimmers kept a good pace and swam near each other. Their task was to overcome a strong current in the middle of the strait, a whirlpool and ripple. They succeeded in doing it, thanks to Victor's very competent instructions. He was constantly guiding them and telling how much was left to Redmanova Island. Gradually, it started to get dark on the border of Russia and the USA and water temperature fell from 6 to 3 degrees above zero. A strong south current threw the tired swimmers about 100 meters apart from each other, 
Grigori was swimming freestyle and Alexander was swimming breaststroke. They managed to get closer to each other, but the current became stronger and they had to swim 500 meters more to the north of the planned place of the finish. Grigori managed to land on a small rocky beach, but Alexander was drifted 150 meters farther. He touched a rock of the Rodmanova island and therefore marked his finish. Exhausted, he got into the boat. Да, приплыли. Тяжело было, Саша. А. Тяжело было. Да. А куда идем? Саша, мы уже приплыли, мы никуда не идем. Гриша, ты можешь пару слов сказать для своей родной Якутии? Невозможно сказать, трудно. Трудно, все да? нормально, все нормально. Нормально, Гриша сделал все это. Нормально. Он переплыл Беринговый сделали. пролив. Да. Сделали. Нога у него, нога кровоточит. Камни были, по камням шли. They finished on the Redmanova Island in the Arctic Ocean. Grigory Prokopchuk swam the distance in 1 hour 57 minutes. And Alexander Brillin did it in 2 hours 17 minutes. All in all, it took about six hours to get from the Little Diomede to the Rutmanova Island, taking into account the time of both, swimming and waiting. So, the Russian trio managed to conquer the strait between the Diomede Island for the first time in the 21st century. Certainly, the swimmers were wrapped up in warm clothes and given hot tea near the fire, and none of them caught a cold. The team's itinerary from 26th of July to 8th of August. The swimmers met in Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky, arriving from Yakutsk and Blagovestchensk. Then they flew to Anchorage, USA, Nome and Wales, Alaska, USA. A two-hour trip on a cruise ship Silver Discovery finished on the Little Diomede, then swimming from the Little Diomede to the Rodmanova Island. A helicopter brought the team to Lavrentia village on the mainland, Russia. Then there was a postal plane which took them to Anadyr, Russia. Another flight from Anadyr to Khabarovsk. And then our sea knights went home. Alexander to Blagovestchensk, Grigory to Yakutsk and Viktor to Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky. The participants of the Diomede Swim would like to thank everyone involved in the project for their help and support. Now they all assure, a man is capable of many things. He only doesn't know about that.